So welcome to another Bootstrap 3 Extra tutorial. Uh, in this video we're going to be covering carousels in Bootstrap. This is one of my most requested videos alongside the uh, forms tutorial back in the main Bootstrap 3 series. But yeah, this is essentially what we're going to be creating. It's this thing in front of you. It's just a featured slider essentially which shows pictures. And as you can see it's scrolling by itself. But if I hover over it, it will pause. So if I'm hovering over, sort of on these controls on the side here, or anywhere, uh, it will pause, it won't keep changing. We've got a caption here, and we've also got buttons down here to switch between them. Just like that. So it's pretty cool, and one last thing is that as we resize, it's responsive, of course. Just like that. So on a mobile, it still looks pretty good. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be building. Okay, so jump into your code here, in brackets, of course. Uh, the first thing we want to create is a div, uh, as with everything pretty much. So we're going to create a div, and we're going to give an ID, so make sure it's an ID, equal to my carousel. You can name this whatever you want, that's just what I'm going to call it. Uh, we'll then need to give it a class, and give this equal to carousel, just like that. Okay, so inside here, the first thing that we're going to do is create, uh, if we're going to these sort of indicators that go in between them. That's the first thing we're going to create. So for this, what we're going to do is we're going to create an ordered list. So these are going to be in order, of course. And it's going to have a class equal to carousel-indicators. And this will just give it all the styling and everything in the jQuery and everything just for it to understand. Uh, just a standard bootstrap class. Then we're going to create some list items. So we're going to give it a data dash target. So what it's referencing, and this is going to be the name of my carousel. We're going to put a hash in front of it because it's an ID. So here we're going to put hashtag my carousel. This is case sensitive, so make sure it's exactly the same. But then data dash slide dash two equals, and this is just the position that it's going to slide to. So whether it's position one, two, three. Uh, as in everything with programming computers, this starts as zero. So the first one's going to be zero, and then we'll also have another one. So copy this. We're going to have three of them. We're going to have one, and we'll also have two. This first one is also going to have a class equal to active. And what this is going to do is it's going to set it to be the first one that you see. And, well, it's going to just show that this is active here at the start. Okay, so now we can actually start including the slides so what we're going to do is div class equals carousel dash inner and this is where all the slides are going to be stored in and then for each item we're going to create a div with a class equal to item like that and inside here is where you can actually have the items so first what we do is we include the image, so this is going to be img source and if I go into my folder here so this is the root the root directory where my extras.htm file is we've also got an img folder here where I've got three files and these all of these files have resolution 1920 by 741 740 and 741 uh, I'd recommend that you keep these the same resolution so that it looks good Otherwise, you'll have it where the height changes and stuff as it goes between slides. So yeah, make sure they're the same size. Um, okay, so the next thing we're going to do is go into our code. IMG source equals, and then in here, we're going to have IMG forward slash, and then beach.jpg. That's my first file. Uh, you don't need to close off the IMG tag. It's just um, self-contained. Then we're going to have alt equals, and this is just for if the image doesn't load properly or uh, SEO purposes. Now I'm just going to call it beach. Uh, so that's it there. And then we'll give it a class equal to img-responsive. And this is going to make sure that it rescales properly to all screens. Okay, so uh, in the extras file, I've also got to include my jQuery and JavaScript file because that's not already in there. So I'll just drag those over now. Uh, you might already have that in there, but I didn't, so just add it in there. Uh, we get nothing, and the reason for that is that we need to set this to active. This item, the first item, 
since this is the first one that's going to load and that has to correspond to this here so now if I go and refresh you can see we've now got it there uh, the next thing we're going to do is going to create two more so that these two will work so what I'm literally going to do is copy this and paste it and get rid of the actives because only one can be active uh, this one is going to be sunset you have to spell it right and this one is going to be park so those are the names of the files so now when I go and refresh I can switch between them okay so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add that transition that sort of slides them in and out of each other so this is really simple uh, up here we've got div id equals my carousel class equals carousel we're going to add another class called slide and that is it you just got to refresh and now they'll slide between each other perfect one final thing to do is the buttons on the side this is fairly simple as well um, just before the ending of here so just after the carousel inner we're going to add an A class so it's a link and this is going to be carousel dash control and we're going to give it href equal to hash my carousel and that's going to make sure that it links up with this carousel remember we called it my carousel up here case sensitive of course and then data dash slide is equal to priv so that is going to make it slide backwards to the previous one um, as we have everything in bootstrap this is all taken care of all these classes and this data slide is taken care of in the CSS and jQuery so you don't need to worry about that and then what we can also have is span class equals icon dash priv and that will just give us that nice little icon so now if we refresh here you can see we've got our icon here but if we want to add this like nice fade effect over here like the darkening effect all we have to do is add left like that refresh and now we get that effect which is really cool now you guessed it same for the right except we'll change it to right and next so this is going to be here right and this is going to be next and also just for display purposes you want to change the icon as well so now if we save that refresh that looks really awesome there it is and it's all working okay so one final thing is adding the caption so in your code in the item just underneath the image we're going to create a div with a class equal to carousel dash caption and in, inside here what we're going to do is just create a h3 tag and this is going to say beach just like that so now I can just copy this and paste it for each one just changing this to park and sunset and also while we're at it change the alternative text should have done this earlier but doesn't matter this one's park okay so this is just a built-in class that comes with bootstrap carousel caption and that just positions it properly gets all the styling right and then we put a standard heading tags so there's our caption and as you move along the caption goes with the picture we can also simply put a paragraph tag as well which works really easily just like that and I'll just copy some text in paste it in there like that save it fresh and there we go there's our carousel and of course this rescales just like that so yeah so that's our site uh, thank you for watching don't forget to comment rate and subscribe if you found this useful and I'll see you in the next video